I was doing a uh, live video on YouTube and uh, someone said, why don't you do a video of your 10 favorite inks? And I thought that's a really good idea. Other people have suggested that in the past. Here's the, here's the reason I, I kept not really doing that. Doing an ink video is a lot of work to the very simple, uh, for the very simple reason that it is almost impossible to show off an ink properly. Why? Because there is certain light coming in. I have a window right there. You can probably see it in my glasses. Okay, there's the window. Okay. It's daylight now, but I work with a camera. The camera picks up the color of the ink in a certain way. Uh, I can take pictures, but those pictures will pick up that color in a certain way. So here's the deal. I am going to show you the inks and I am going to tell you why these are my favorite inks. But you have to take this with a grain of salt because what you see on your screen, don't forget there's also the calibration of your screen as to colors. What you see may not be 100% representative of what the actual ink is like. So take it with a grain of salt, listen to why I like the ink, and then maybe check it out online. Maybe see writing samples on a couple of websites and see if it's something that you like, okay? That's all, let's get started. 10 inks. I'm not going to show you the bottles and I'm not going to give you prices. Why not? Because A, when I moved from the Netherlands to Canada, I decanted a bunch of inks into simple plastic Nalgene bottles, so I can't show you the bottle anymore, and prices change, okay? So you can look it up if you're interested in ink, you can look that up and you can see if it's something you want to purchase. I'm not going to tell you this was $24.95, this was $32.79, I don't care, okay? Like, it's, it, it's an ink. You can look it up if you find it interesting. Don't take this as an offense. I'm just not giving prices. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Okay, let's talk about 10 of my favorite inks. And um, these are all inks that I use, that I like to use, that I have used for a long time, that are tried and true. And I will be entirely honest, I am not one for uh, super exotic, fancy, hyper sheeny, sparkly inks. I like very straight up inks that I know do not destroy my pens. And that's it. So let's see what I have. This is in no particular order. So it's not, I'm not going from least to most favorite or whatever. It's also not a pen review. So I will briefly mention the pen. All of these pens, uh, just quickly checking, yes, have been reviewed. Let's get to it. This is a Delta Dolce Vita, no, sorry, not a Dolce Vita. This is a Delta Roma Imperiale, uh, the demo, and uh, the ink is Waterman Serenity Blue. I wanted to write an F there because it used to be Florida Blue. This ink is special to me because it was the first ever bottled ink. For some reason, all of a sudden, when I write Qs, I do this, now it's G. This is really weird, I'm sorry. Uh, this was the first ever bottled ink I bought. It came with a fountain pen that I, I, my grandfather gave me as a birthday gift. So given that this was the first time ever I used a converter and the first time ever I used a bottled ink, I will always have fond memories of this particular ink. A standard, classic, deep blue, a washable blue, but a nice deep blue with an even slightly reddish sheen in the right nib. This is a fine nib. I tried to get as many broad nibs as I could for this video, but I have the occasional uh, finer nib. You'll have to forgive me uh, and you won't see that sheen so much, but I didn't have that many broad nibs I could all use for this. Okay, the next one, the next ink. This is one that I really like. It is in a Danitrio Mikado. This is Pelikan, right? Edelstein Star Ruby Red. And uh, I have found that this is an ink. This is a stub nib, by the way, so this should show this off quite nicely. Um, this is a beautiful match with Arushi pens for some reason. I think I, I really like it. For the record, there will be a picture of the writing. Okay, so you will be able to check this out on my website, sbrebrown.com. Okay, why do I like this ink so much? Uh, I used to really like Iroshizuku Tsuji, and this ink is very close to that. 
but I found it very nice and smooth. I don't know if it's lubricated, but I find this a very well flowing ink and it has a little bit of shading to it and overall I guess I should try to do a little bit of this so you can a bit of a swatch of the color color. Uh, I really like that that color. It, it it really works very well for me. So as soon as I saw this I, I kind of fell in love with it and I, I've really loved it from that moment onwards. Okay here I have an Opus 88 Omar uh, this happens to be the demonstrator, so you can sort of see the ink. Well, not, not really, I suppose. Light is coming from the wrong angle, but uh, this is actually Leonardo ink. Uh, Leonardo turquoise. And I think everyone should have a, a turquoise ink. I used to really love the Visconti turquoise. If I can zoom in a bit, that's a bit closer. Um, this is quite close to the Visconti turquoise in my mind. I have always really loved a good turquoise. I have been warned to be a little careful with turquoise in demonstrators. That's kind of why I put it in here. This is not a super expensive pen, because I kind of wanted to see if this stained the barrel. So far we seem to be good. That's not a property of Leonardo turquoise, I should add, but turquoise ink I've been told. So far I really seem quite good. Turquoise is a nice color because it pops and many turquoise inks shade really nicely and you can get a whole bunch of turquoise inks that are really really nice and, and shady. Uh, I mean like, like shade well. Uh, this I think is a good example of that and I, I really uh, do enjoy that. Next one. This is a cross Darth Vader. Uh, Japanese medium so this is a pretty fine nib but there isn't really much to show off because this is Aurora black and there is no shading in this it's Aurora and it's black so there isn't really any shading what I like about uh, this particular ink is that it is a true black sometimes black inks are very dark gray or it's like a sort of like a, a shaded gray but this is an actual black and that I really like. It's well behaved and it also cleans out of a pen really quite quickly which I found very interesting for such a saturated dark ink but it, it works really well. Here's the deal, this is a professional ink. I once was at work years ago and I had to suddenly sign a card for a part, uh, a colleague whose partner had passed away. And all I had was fountain pens with bright orange, bright green, bl simply doesn't work. No, I don't carry this around because I expect that at every, any time I have to be able to write a card for someone who passed away. But having a neutral color in a pen that you carry with you, I don't think that's a bad idea. Because it's like that, it's neutral, right? Sometimes you, you just, like hot pink is simply not ideal in a given situation. In professional context, I think this is quite nice. Most of these inks I have not tested for waterproofness because I don't really care. I'm not in a situation where I, I uh, typically uh, get my writing wet, so it's not a big consideration for me. Again, this video is not an in-depth review of all of these inks. I'm just showing you some of my personal inks and talking about why I like them. Here is another favorite, Waterman Tender Purple. I love this purple, it shades well. Unfortunately this is a fine nib, but it is a flexi nib, so when I'm done I'll, I'll try to flex it a bit. Nicely shaded and a true purple. Some purples are a bit reddish, some etc. Uh, I, I have found this to be a, a pretty true purple, which I really like. Very nice. And being Waterman, I love Waterman inks for the very simple reason that they're incredibly well behaved inks. They clean out of the pen nicely, uh, they are not uh, particularly difficult when it comes to feathering, they work well on different papers, and they're also typically relatively inexpensive. So, I mean, it's, it's uh, uh, again, a very pleasant um, uh, ink to, uh, to use. That was a 
Stipula Etruria Magnifica pen, by the way. Leonardo uh, Furore, doesn't matter. This pen does not at all match the ink. I just needed another broad nib. So what we have here is one of my favorites when it comes to green inks. My number one green ink, Montblanc Irish Green. What I love about this ink is that it's nice, dark green, and it shades nicely. And you see that in a nice, wet stub like this. And I really love that. So this has always been a, um, a favorite when it comes to green. Again, shading and such, you will see uh, in the in the pictures um, and this is Rhodia paper for the record okay here we have another ink that really makes very little sense in this brown pen but I again needed another stub uh, here we have a Leonardo um, Momento Zero Grande wow I'm sorry uh, the ink here is interesting this is Ackermann Double zero. Delft's Blau. Now, this ink is a little bit on the dry side, and this is a little bit of a dry pen, so this may not have been the ultimate combination, but it is a classic washable blue. And what I really like. is that this really reminds me of school. We used school supplied fountain pens in primary school and you would get cartridges that were this color. So I really remember this from my, my school days and that's why I think why I love this ink so much. Also, it shades really nicely, which is really cool in a washable blue that some people consider a bit of a a uh, dull color or boring color, but I think this is a, a great example of an ink that, that works really well and that I love using. As I said, a little dry, but I'm, I'm willing to, to take that. Okay, then we have in this Classic Pens LM1 uh, nib ground into a, an Architect nib, again I was just looking for a broad uh, nib. Here we have my favorite red. This is Montblanc Corn Poppy. Sadly discontinued, uh, but in my mind a stellar red that really pops, that is not too orange. Oh, that's weird. Oh. I'm not going to write down the lazy dog because I'm running out of space, so I'm going to write down the, and I'm going to leave it at that. They should give you an impression of the ink. Lovely, nicely shaded. You can clearly tell that shading is something that I really like, if you've heard me say that a number of times. Uh, all beautifully shaded inks, uh, and, and that, again, that, that to me is kind of the fun in, in using fountain pen inks. Yard of Lead, Viceroy Grand with a broad nib. I think one type of ink that everybody kind of needs because it's also a classic is a blue black. So here we have my favorite blue black. This is Waterman. Uh, it, it has a name, Mystery Blue. I, I, I simply don't remember, but they only make one blue black. You, you'll be able to find this. And again, blue-black to me, quick brown, is just such a, a classic color of ink. I really think everybody needs one. And it dries very nicely. It again has a, a very nice shading. So yeah, I, 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 it's, it's really one of my favorites. Um, Again, also a very professional color. This is something you can use in a business setting and it's not too expressive or too extreme in color. It's, it's just a nice, um, nice ink. And then finally, here we have the 
uh, Visconti Opera Master in tobacco. Um, I'm sure this ink is, is going to uh, surprise you massively, but this is SBRE Brown. Obviously, save the best for last. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm biased uh, because this is my personal ink available through Akaman. We are at this moment in time. This is May 2020. It's strange I had to think about the year, not the month. Anyway, um, we're working on an, another batch. Okay, uh, I, I can't give you a timeline because I don't have one. What I love about my ink is that it meets all the criteria that I set as it was being developed. I wanted something that was a warm brown that was nicely shaded and it has done all of that in my mind. Uh, pretty wet writer. In a drier nib it would not be this saturated and dark, uh, but uh, this is what I have right now. So, these are my favorite ten inks. These are inks that I reach for all the time. I don't use many other inks. I always have one pen inked up with SBRE Brown. This is not vanity, but I mean, I happen to really like my ink. If I wouldn't like it, why would I have it, right? So I always have one pen inked up with that. Um, blue, black, very often. Green, almost always have one pen with that in it. Almost always have a pen with black in it. And then I switch around a bit. Sometimes I want a washable blue, sometimes I want something else. Uh, uh, purple is nice once in a while. Turquoise is nice once in a while. So there you have it. These are my top 10 inks. I hope this was useful. And um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.